Bell Foy, your cheerleader of dreams. Hey, I pray as you spend time today investing in yourself that you're captivated and you're catapulted to live your dreams. In fact, today I want to talk to you about don't waste your pain. I want to show you how to use all your pain, make it backfire on the enemy, and get some, get some glory out of it, right? Well, you know, I want to tell you a story about how I turned my pain around. In fact, years ago, I remember I was at a convention in California, and I was standing on the second row when all of a sudden a very famous preacher walked in named Oral Roberts. Well, he stood right in front of me on the front row next to my dad. Well, there's 10,000 people in the Coliseum. The TV cameras were on him because it's Oral Roberts. All of a sudden, my dad leans over to him and he says, do you remember my daughter, Terry? Well, Mr. Roberts turns around, looks at me, gives me a hug. Then all of a sudden, with all the cameras on him, he points in my face and he says, there's something you're not letting go of. And I just stood there. First of all, I was humiliated. I was insecure. All these cameras are on me. And he tells me to lift my hands. So I raise my arms up and he starts hitting my elbows in front of 10,000 people. And he's yelling, let go, let go, let go. And I'm just standing there thinking, of what? <laughs> like I had no idea what he was talking about. Well, after that memorable and embarrassing moment, I went home, you know, and I'm just asking the Lord, Lord, what was he talking about? I mean, I seriously don't have a clue. Well, much later, the Lord began to reveal to me that it was my past, that it was the shame, the guilt, the regret, all the mistakes I'd made, all that shame. I was just carrying it around everywhere I went, and it was time to let go. Well, just to kind of give you a little backstory, I grew up, you know, this happy-go-lucky girl. I was a cheerleader all through school. I was blessed to be the homecoming queen. I even dated the quarterback. <laughs> but I was hiding a lot of pain, a lot of shame, a lot of insecurity behind a big smile. I mean, nobody really knew what I had been through. Well, long story short, I was violated by a guy at 14 years old, a guy I didn't even know, drove me home from a water park, ended up taking me to a gym, an empty gym, and I lost my virginity on a gym floor with a guy that to this day probably doesn't even know my name, doesn't remember me, wouldn't even recognize me if he watched this podcast. Well, after that moment, I felt so rejected. I felt ugly. I felt worthless, like I wasn't as good as other people. And here's the truth. You need to remember this. You behave in a manner consistent with how you see yourself. You behave in a manner consistent with how you see yourself. Well, as a result, I ended up getting into an abusive relationship with a guy who was the sweetest guy one day and angry the next. And because of how I felt about myself, I would not break up with him. Well, he became violent. I mean, everything from he choked me, he threw me by the back of my neck into the grass, he banged my head against the steering wheel many times, and I stayed with him. Well, finally, I ended that relationship after two and a half years, ended that relationship. Senior year of college, I met a guy, we started dating, fell in love, and my last semester of college, right before I graduated, I got pregnant. Well, here I am laying in my little apartment in Lubbock, Texas, and I'm scribbling in my journal, I want to die. Now, my dad is a well-known minister, and I was so ashamed, so humiliated with what I had done, and I didn't want to tell my parents. So I told my roommates, I said, I'm just going to run away. I'm just going to head west. My roommate, Teresa, said, no, you're not. You don't even know which way's west. <laughs> We're going to get through this, which is true. But we decided to, you know, face what we had done, deal with it, and we decided to get married. And Kenneth Copeland and my dad performed the wedding. Well, I was so ashamed. I wore my sister's dress. Didn't even have time to go buy a wedding dress. Wore my sister's dress. I walked down the aisle with my head down, so embarrassed, so humiliated. Well, here it is four or five years later, and Oral Roberts is looking at me saying, there's something you're not letting go of. And I'm thinking, what? So I'm walking outside one day, and I'm just asking the Lord, what am I not letting go of? And the Lord began to reveal to me that it was all that shame. In fact, this is what I heard. Shame and guilt will keep you from your destiny. Now think about that. Shame and guilt will keep you from what God puts you on this earth to do. Well, July 9, 2003, 
as I'm out walking, talking to the Lord, asking him to forgive me for all the dumb things I've done, that's whenever I had this vision from the Lord, which I've never had anything like that before then or since then. But I just saw myself standing at the foot of the cross. And when I looked up, I saw the feet of Jesus. Well, when I looked up and saw his feet, the blood from his feet dropped and landed on the top of my head. And I clearly heard the Lord say on the inside, he said, I'm washing the memories away. Isn't that amazing? Then I saw the blood go down my heart and I heard the Lord say, I'm the healer of the brokenhearted. I watched the blood go down to my feet and he said, the residue of sin is gone from you. Well, I believe since that moment that God can truly give you a supernatural amnesia of the past where you stop thinking about it, talking about it, rehearsing it, replaying it. It's gone. God can heal every broken place in your heart and you don't have to be reminded of who you used to be. Well, all at the same time, I saw this big clipboard, like a big hand from heaven reached down and handed me a clipboard and it was adorable. (laughs) He said to me, this is an assignment on your life. And then he handed me some keys, like the old fashioned kind. And he said, these are the keys to the kingdom of heaven to help you fulfill your assignment. Everything you need to fulfill your assignment can be found with these keys. Well, since then, my outlook of life has changed. My favorite scripture now is John 17, 4 from the Message Bible. And it says this, it says, I glorified you on earth by completing down to the last detail what you assigned me to do. Well, I want you to know you have a clipboard, you have an assignment, and see, you'll never step into your purpose if you don't step out of your past. You got to get free from the past. In fact, in the Bible, God said this phrase to Lot and his family, you know, in Genesis, he said, remember, well, actually in Luke, he said, remember Lot's wife. Well, you remember he told Lot and his family, don't look back. When he was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he told them, don't look back. Well, Lot's wife did the very thing God said, don't do. She looked back and she was destroyed. The point of that is you will be destroyed if you keep looking back. See, everything God has for you, it's ahead of you. It's not behind you, but you will lose your future if you keep looking back. So I want to challenge you today. Turn your misery into a ministry. Turn your mess into a message, they say. And you know, what Satan hopes to destroy your life with, you can use it to defeat him with. You know, I think about in my own life, we now provide vision board courses to girls' homes all across the United States. We're teaching these precious girls who are pregnant before marriage, rescued from human trafficking, rejected, raped, abused. We're teaching them how to dream. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm using all my pain to help bring healing to girls all over the world. See, the enemy wouldn't be fighting you so hard unless he knew God had something amazing in your future. See, the enemy knew once I got free, I was going to help others get free. That's why he tried to keep me bound. So what you think is a setback, it's really a setup to take you further. Think about that. Now, I don't know what you've been through in your life, but let me tell you, God does. And he wants to set you free so you can set others free with your story. I want to mention our YouTube subscriber of the week. This week is Sarita Jenkins. This is what Sarita says. I have a playlist named I Need God. I started putting music in there that speaks to me about God. Now I started putting my favorite Terry Savelle Foy messages in there, including this one, she says, because I used to watch Barbie with my daughters. And I always remember the first time I saw you at a conference and I squealed, Barbie is preaching God's word. (laughs) That's hilarious. I feel like God called you to do your work to reach me. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for finding me, Sarita. Well, Sarita, I'm grateful you found me. The feeling is mutual. You bless my heart with your words and with your support and encouragement. So let me just say real quick, I don't want you to come to the end of your life and realize it's too late. It's too late to go after your assignment. Well, or maybe that your expiration date is here, that you didn't get to enjoy what God wanted you to enjoy because you weren't ready or because you stayed stuck in the past, reliving the memories, never preparing for your future until your time expired. So I've put together a download that will not only help you identify where you may be weak or tempted, but it's gonna give you a game plan so you don't fall back into the same trap. 
So all you gotta do is click the link in the description to download this PDF that will help you not only identify your temptation, but learn how to conquer them. So be sure to enjoy that. And for more consistent motivation, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. You can find the handles below or click the little red subscribe button for weekly videos to make this your best year yet. And let me just remind you, I'm cheering you on to live your dreams. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. I see means something added to something good to make it even better.